Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blaze. Now, there's been a lot of things going on in this little event tab right here. Uh, spread the word. Share the post. Okay, so there's a post on probably Facebook that's going around. If you share it, then you receive 10 transcendents. I mean, they can't really track your account, so I'm pretty sure they'll just give it to everybody sooner or later. But I'm pretty sure it's reached like 800 maybe? Uh, let's see. Yeah, 800 shares from the community. You get 10 trans essence. Okay, that's not half bad. Alright, and now some more sneak peeks into the chapters. Let's go ahead and look at that and see what's going on. So they are talking about the new transcends and the new character that is supposed to be coming. The Encanter herself. That are pretty much probably a lot of people are going to be using... I'm pretty sure you guys will see nothing but her for quite a while or a few days. So everybody like changes around. If they don't like her, then they'll probably change the mage. And you'll mostly see mages around as well. Then it'll probably change the paladin and everything. But you'll mostly see um, paladins and encanters on the first day, most likely. Mostly encanters. Alright, so what are these chapter things? Oh, this is story. If you guys have played the game, you already know pretty much most of the story up until this point. Oh, Ragnarok got revived and everything. Then it heads into chapter 5. Alright, so this is the prologue here. Uh, let's see. It's been a long age since the Titans left our planet. The Stone Hammer tribe and Transcended Kamel left us. I don't know why you need to, s to specify that she was Transcended, but alright. <laughs> Left us so much knowledge, which we used to rebuild the Archangel using the energy from the river flowing from... Okay. So, I don't think I noticed a river uh, under that tree. We're going to have to take a look at that, see if we can spot it. Through the skills needed to operate the Archangel, were quickly learned. There were, there were still a lot of unanswered questions. And so my friends and I started, uh, okay, so yeah, I agree. A lot of unanswered questions as in how the hell did Death Crown transcend in the middle of fighting? Uh, a lot of theories are he absorbed energy from the Titans during that combat. But then how did everybody else transcend at that point? That's that's another question because in the story I'm pretty sure everybody was transcended towards the end. That's that's another unanswered question. Cause we were talking about this on my Guild Adventure stream and we're just throwing out a whole bunch of theories saying there was like so many holes in the plot to where it was just like really strange to like put together. Especially since they don't talk about our characters hitting transcended. Like, we don't know how our characters even enter Transcend. Alright, let me get out of this before I continue talking about the things we talked during that stream. Because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to go through that stream, like, searching for it. Because it's, like, pretty far in the stream, so, yeah. Alright, we can get out of that. Let's go ahead and go in here and get our points. Alright, I've been sitting at this loading screen for probably, like, three minutes now. And, okay, whoa. Surprise, surprise. You've been disconnected from the game servers. Logging back in. Okay, there we go. Okay, and a lot of things are missing. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I don't know who I want to change out. Uh, let's change out. How? I want to see how our cooldown looks with Till. And Till is plus four right now. I'm always trying to change things around and at least see how things happen. So me and a couple others were talking about this on stream. It really didn't make any sense that our character just transcended out of nowhere. And they're going to... We pretty much made the character. They're going to be transcended. So here's the thing. How are we gonna do the 
how are new players going to experience the whole Awaken quest? That's the thing I've been wondering. How are they going to experience that? Because all the older players are going to be sitting here like, yeah, we get, we got to experience it. But newer players aren't going to get that, like, experience. Which does suck for them. But at the same time, you're thinking to yourself, how are those cutscenes going to, going to work? Are they going to be any different or are they going to be the same? Because it's going to be weird talking about you've awakened when you're transcended and you're pretty much already awakened. <laughs> it was like this whole conversation. I'm pretty sure you guys can find it. I'll probably look it up myself and just give you guys the link and give you guys a like time skip. That whole stream explained it a lot better than I did just now. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure with this he will survive into um, ten. He won't beat our score, but I'm pretty sure we'll survive into ten. But we talked about a lot of things during that stream. Morph was in there just chilling with us. We were just going through theories, talking, just pretty much chilling the whole stream. Right now we can complete the guild adventure in like a whole hour so pretty much the rest of the guild adventure was pretty much just us going through like ragnarok like i say it was a fun stream i think i could figure out a way to work till into this group but i just want to replace helios with um lucy real soon but I'm working on Lucy, like, way later on. It seems like we're catching up with our score, though. Little by little right now. Or is this where characters have died? Around the four minute mark. That's odd. It seems like we might actually pass our score right now. I had to turn down the volume just because... Uh, the whole sound effects and noises just really hurts my ears. <laughs> and plus, I, I cannot talk over that loud noise. Alright, we're really close. Let's see if we can do it. Yep, we passed it. Sweet. It took us a while, but we're getting there. We still have everybody alive at this point. Compared to most of the times, we would just die around, like, three minutes left. Just takes a little bit of time to build up that damage, especially for Llewellyn. Poor, poor Llewellyn. If you were ultimate right now, you'll be revving up damage from the start. But I'm sorry. You don't have that luxury right now. You're gonna have to wait. But everybody's already hyping up Chapter 5. Some people aren't just because of all the nerfs that are going to be happening, especially to poor, poor King Graham. A man going to become a meat shield real soon. He's OP right now, but when he gets hit with a nerf, I feel bad for anybody who got him and thought he was going to be OP for the rest of the game. Rip the dream. I mean, enjoy his OPness right now, at least. <laughs> Wait, is seven minutes where we've died? No way this is our highest score. I don't feel like it is. Alright, Wenlu, how long are you going to sit there? Going to survive into 7 minutes? Alright. This is our new high score. So yeah, we passed We passed the old score we had. Okay, good. Wenlu's still going at it though. I don't think she's going to stop for a while. I think she honestly wants to survive for the last 10 minutes. I don't think I'm going to let her do that, though. But at the same time, she's still gaining some pretty decent score for being the only person there. <laughs> I'm going to let her ditch it out. So there probably won't be, like, a stream tomorrow just because I... Okay, there we go. Just because I ran out of... Um, well, ran low on some raid tickets. I'm slowly gaining them back. Slowly. So tomorrow I'll probably just do the um, Alchemist Code stream. 
Oh, somebody has to join. Alright, I hope everybody reads the rules that are at the bottom of the description now. So, I did put, like, rules down in the description about joining the guild in Dragon Blaze. Uh, we don't really have, like, extreme rules, just, like, some common rules, no racism, no, like, fighting, respect your other players and everything. And then we have guild loot rules that are subject to change. I'll let you guys know if it does change or anything. But as of right now, hopefully everybody follows those rules, especially heavy hitters that come in. We gotta try and keep them in in like their little bubbles for right now to make sure they won't like destroy all the areas. Cause we really don't need that. I've already told people if they continue to disobey the rules of guild loot they'll be kicked out immediately without any questions asked all right next let's go ahead and do arena uh yeah let's oh whoops there we go all right let's see if random gives us any strong opponents God, I gotta keep my fingers on Kamel. So it's been difficult to think of the three trend selectors that I'm gonna use. I know for a fact I'm gonna get Gala. I know for a fact I'm gonna get Foxy. The last one is quite annoying to try and figure out. Especially since I don't know if heroes are going to be inside of the trend selectors. I mean, like I said, they still haven't confirmed it, though. So, there still is a possibility. Everybody keeps saying, Yeah, I doubt it, but, you know, I doubt it too. But a man can still dream, you know? <laughs> I can still sit here and hope. Alright, next. At least I'm hoping, at least, because if they are, I can get Lucy, and that will cut down on so much more of my farming. Oh, powerful opponent. He has shown himself. Oh no, he's too powerful. Wait, he, he has a DFI. Wait, what was the DFI? So confused. Oh, a bell. I have not seen a bell since I've been playing. Oh, well, she's dead now, so. And I gotta say, thank you guys for all the support on my, um, uh, Last Dragon Blaze videos it's been real fun making these videos, especially getting excited for season five as much as you guys are. You guys are bombing me with a whole bunch of questions, but you know it's it's all good. I enjoy helping you guys out as much as I can, with as much knowledge as I have. All right, let's see how this team stacks up. Goodbye, Death Crown. You magical transcending beast. <laughs> we were talking about them adding costumes inside of um, the Korean version as well. But they were just costumes for the overloads. And, and they weren't, weren't much to be desired except for Mach 5. I love her costume. I can say I can wait for... The overloads just because they're gonna change the meta so much to be pretty much where most and I do mean like probably 80% of the transcendents are gonna be useless then just imagine going into PvP and just fighting a whole bunch of overlord teams that's gonna be annoying but I'm probably gonna pick Mach 5 as soon as we get the you know overlord selector when they re when they're released. All right. This team looks like they could be tough in the challenge. Oh no. Up. All right, everybody didn't die. They all didn't die. Okay, it's good. We still saved it. Somehow. 
I was about to say, I think their Falcon is not powerful enough to kill everybody. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> I've been seeing so many tills around now. It's actually been pretty nice. I wonder how magic teams are going to do inside of, like, actual PvP. Considering I'm going to have to build a magic team anyway, just because I'm going to be using Encanter. So... Yeah, I want to build a team like around my actual main character, especially considering most of her like passives are pretty much magic team based. I'm already starting on prone because he is quite the monster. He pretty much just starts off the freaking magic meta, which is really something. Just one character starting off a meta just makes that completely insane. But I was going to make Prome anyway, even if he did start it off. Just because I like Prome. His look is amazing. I just don't like the crystals on his back, but his stance and the rest of his clothing is really nice. Oh no, here comes OP King Graham right now. I feel bad for this dude in Chapter 5. Oh no, he has to come away. What? Uh, my Kimmel just like, she was like, nah, I don't want to fight that. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I'll give her that. All right, Pluto, get out of here. Had a bad run this morning. Uh, I don't like fighting Grace, so, and that's one reason why. Grayso is going to be even more OP inside of freaking Season 5. I don't need him. I don't need myself getting a whole bunch of matches with him. Can he go away, please? Oh, she was already d dead? What? I keep forgetting that the game is delayed a little bit. I didn't finish off the till. To be honest, I was thinking about making Bell this morning, but then I thought about it. I was just like, eh, maybe I just want to work on till right now. Because <laughs> that's just going to add on to even more stress of trying to level them both up. So I just avoided it and just said, I'm good. And she's going to come back to life. Oh, no? I guess we beat her by like one second before she came back. Alright guys, we're gonna end it there. How many kills did everybody get? The win we got freaking 91. This is why I love her so far. But I get Lucy down the road. If anything, I'll probably do Guild Adventure with like a physical damage team with a whole bunch of buffers as with Lucy. Unless the magic teams are going to be way better than Lucy at killing bosses. I don't really know at the moment. But we'll see when we, once we get there. So, yeah. I think we have like a week or two into um, Season 5. I want to say at least two weeks. I'm gonna throw that in there. 
I have a whole bunch of magic scrolls that I just don't use right now. They've just been sitting there. Throw all those in there. Especially since I'm not using them right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. <sighs> Today's been a long day. I gotta get back to the grind on this. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day and happy farming. Did in. Peace out.